Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Greetings again, everybody, from Brinkley, Arkansas. Thanks to this wonderful lady here, she spotted this incredibly old, abandoned Walmart. And I mean so old, they never even got the newer logo on it, like modern-day Walmarts have. And the size of this place is tiny. It's like the size of, like, a little Kmart. Yeah, like a grocery store size. So... This might be a shorter video, I'm not sure, but we're definitely gonna check this one out. We cannot let this go. Yeah, this you is too good. Never see me in the Walmarts. And next door to it is a super old Kroger as well that was never updated. So this is like an old school town. I love this place all of a sudden. I'm glad we were hungry or we would have just went right past it on the interstate. So let's with, see. Without further ado, yeah, like she said, let's see. I mean, just look at the old sign there. Never even had the updated signage. That's the one that faces the highway and the roadway, and this you just see how old it is. And it's tiny, too. Must have definitely closed in the 2000s. Yeah. Awesome. All right, there you go, everybody. There is your old school Walmart here. I know it's hard to read the lettering, but you can make it out somewhat on the facade there. And that is wicked cool. It even still has the star logo. I, I just love that. All right, here we are at the entrance here. Now I want to tell you something. I want to ask you. You find me a Walmart where you can park right in front of the entrance like this. All of these spots are parking spots. If you're familiar with Walmart nowadays, you know you can't do any such thing. Oops, somebody broke in. Yowza. And it is to my understanding that this closed in either 2008 or 2009. And if you know anything about Walmart, Arkansas is actually where they got their start. Wow. There are lights on in there. Completely destroyed though. Unbelievable. Kayla, I just can't believe she spotted that. I saw the Kroger. And we saw a building back here from the roadway, but we weren't sure what it was because we got lunch across the street. We just wanted something quick, so we stopped at McDonald's. I don't even care. We, we just wanted something quick, small cheap and Kayla's like that's an abandoned Walmart and I'm like get out I'm just blown away by this you don't see too many abandoned Walmarts to begin with let alone a really small one such as this look at this shopping cart it looks like it was hit by a car <laughs> damaged beyond repair is what it says on the handle. Oh, uh, imagine if we could go walk around the inside of this old Walmart. Look, there's a mask there. Oh, look, there's a way in right there. Holy cow. The air is still on in here. Wow, this is an old Walmart. Look at the fans up here. Look at the old ceiling fans. Kayla, we're inside of another abandoned Walmart. <laughs> and keep in mind, guys, the window is missing. We just crawled right in, didn't even touch anything. And as an urban explorer, we are only here to take pictures and video and that's it. And look what I just saw on the wall. 
Wow. This is unreal. This place is just destroyed. I can't believe this. Look at all the tile, it's all broken. It's all cracked. That's what we're stepping on is all broken floor. The tile. I know. It left the little town. We looked to see if there was a super center nearby. Didn't see one. Wow. And like I said, again, we're just taking pictures and video. We're not taking anything, not leaving anything except footprints. It's old bathroom. And that's it. That is it. Oh boy. <laughs> washroom in case well like janitor's closet it's a little office here this is such a small walmart too this is unbelievable look at the lockers for the employees goes upstairs too we'll go upstairs in a minute here's the accounting office nothing in here there's a lock a padlock <laughs> wow claims area all the shopping carts these are all newer shopping carts too Mm hmm I just can't get over this. I know. Look at this, guys. I can't believe we were able to just walk right in here. We'll crawl. <laughs> There's all the little carts right there. So what, I guess when they close it, they just left the shopping carts here. Wow. All right, I'm curious. I'm going up here. And as you can see, like when we were outside, people obviously busted windows and broke in. That's not what we're here to do. We don't do that kind of stuff. I don't condone that kind of thing at all. But given there was an opening with that broken window missing, we just, we just came in to do our little video to show you around an old school Walmart because we are retail buffs. We love saving things on video. Oh, the ceiling is coming down in here, so can't even open up the door. Oh, you don't want to go in there, Taylor. Why? You don't want to know. I, I probably don't want to know. It's a dead animal. Oh. Not gonna say what. Oh. Poor thing probably got in there and couldn't get back out. I hope I didn't get that on camera. I don't want that on camera. Look, here's a price board. <laughs> Panty hooks. Wow. Slot wall parse. Slot wall purse. You got parse there and purse there. <laughs> <laughs> parse and purse. Yeah. But like I was saying, we're we're just retail fanatics and we like to explore. And we're just here doing a little video and leaving this place exactly the way we found it. And I don't condone anybody coming here and causing any trouble because that's not what it's about. It's here to just, wow. We're just yeah, we're just here to admire. 
we're just here to preserve this place because somebody worked here. People probably grew up in a shop here. Mm -hmm. We're not here to destroy anything. We're not here to damage anything. Exactly. And, you know, eventually this place will probably get torn down. And this will be history and nothing more than just a memory. So that's why we do this. It's just to preserve this place because we appreciate it. Our intentions are nothing but good. But I guess we'll head on out of here. This is a tiny little Walmart compared to that of uh, Garfield Heights. I guess this is a restroom. Yeah, and the lights are still on. <laughs> no merchandise beyond this point, please. <laughs> Break room, I guess. I got plenty of merchandise with me. Uh-oh. <laughs> guess this was like a break room. Wow. Or was this... Tell me why I kind of get vibes that this was like the eye center. I don't know. Well, there's an eye washing machine there. Or eye washing sink. In case you get something in your eyes. This is, this is a find. Thank you, Kayla. Everybody thank Kayla for that one. This was her doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that'll wrap it up for here. We've been here quite a while. <laughs> and... We got a trip back to Yep. Hope you enjoyed this video, though. This was a blowout of a find. This is insane. Imagine a Walmart this tiny. Even that Ames and Baden was bigger than this. Obviously, this is a very small town. But mm -hmm. Thank you for choosing your Brinkley Walmart. All right, so we're back outside and we're getting ready to head out, but I didn't even notice the big billboard says Walmart across the top of it up there. I know it's hard to read it, but you can see it. It's very old. And then you have the little one below it. But was that a find or what? I did not expect that. Nope, me neither. All right, let's go drive around the back because we're back in the car and we want to hit the road. Like I said, we're going to just drive straight through. <laughs> and then here we are exploring. <laughs> but this was too good to let to let us let that go by. Yeah. I thought because there was a Kroger next to it, maybe this was like where Kroger was at first, but then like we got up close to it and I'm like, oh holy crap, that's a Walmart. Yeah. That blew my mind. Wow, there's a car corral. Uh-huh. That's been closed for a while, that's for sure. Yeah, 11 years. Ooh. At least. That was a find. And anybody who is a native to the area or who is local, tell us why this closed. Um, I found a news story from 2009 saying like Walmart closes in small Arkansas towns and something like that. Mm -hmm. But from so what I did, there was no super center that opened. So no, nothing. And like a little rural community like this would really do well with a Walmart. So yeah, when there's not much else anyway. Yeah. And especially for Arkansas, where Walmart got its start. Yeah, exactly. Now, we drove around the back of the Kroger, and I'm going to show you the front of it. Because the Kroger is wicked cool and wicked old. Ch try that out for size. <laughs> wow. Now that is old school. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video of the Walmart that we dis we discovered and explored in Arkansas. We were so excited after we did that video and we were in a hurry to get to Texas that we completely forgot to do our outro. As it is December 31st when I'm editing this video to give you guys on New Year's Day. Just wanted to say Happy New Year's to you all. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks again to Kayla for doing that video. She can't be here right now. She's at work. I have the day off. And, well, I was just really excited to 
get that edited for you guys and share that experience with you guys. And again, it's all thanks to her. So if I were you, if you are near that area or familiar with that part of Arkansas, I wouldn't go there if I were you. Just respect it from the outside. You know, we took a big chance going in there and there's a Kroger right next door that's extremely busy. So leave it alone. Admire it through the video. I know I sound like a broken record when we do these videos, but it's just because we want to make sure that everybody knows that we're there with just good intentions and we leave the places that we explore exactly the way we found them. So anyway, Happy New Year again. Hope 2021 will be wonderful for you all. I'm excited. New Year. I was just as excited for 2020, and it still wasn't a bad year, but could always been better, but it could have been worse too. But we had a great time, and we're looking forward to what 2021 brings for you guys So and for us. So anyway, take care, everybody. Thanks again for watching. Stay awesome, and have a Kmartlicious day. I'm not even going to say Walmartlicious day because, well, Walmart took out Kmart. But anyway, that's not the point. Take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Have a Kmart delicious day. Happy New Year once again. Bye, everyone. You can always tell a cowgirl by her clothes. You can always find the kitchen with your nose. You can always count on certain things, and Walmart's one of those. One reason why you can always count on Walmart and the products we sell is that the products we sell are the brands you can always trust. You wouldn't have it any other way, and neither would we.